Hey everybody, welcome back behind the bar with me this evening. Uh, tonight, I'm kind of winging this one. I had an idea earlier today, ran it by some people, um, and I'm going to do a series. I don't know quite what I'm going to call it yet, um, but basically it's going to be um, shit that I should have drank five years ago or three years ago, as Dusty put it, uh, who's on this channel. Uh, but it's just like, should I have saved this beer? Um, you can see the shelf behind me. Uh, this is my newer beer. Um, Side Project, Perennial, Rare Barrel, Modern Times, lots of stuff up there. Um, I have a whole other shelf over here that is just full of... There's a whole shelf that's six cases of brewery beer from 2014 to 16. Um, there's Boulevard stuff from like 2012. I have a 2009, 10, 11, like Saison Brett vertical. Um, I've got just a ton of stuff. So I'm going to do, I, you know, I just, it's, you know, do you do the new beers? Um, I don't really like seeking out beer that much anymore. Um, that's not a membership that I already have um, just because it's too much work. Um, so I don't, didn't really want to do that. So I was just like, why don't I just start drinking the shit that I have? Because a lot of people out there might have the same stuff. And it might be one of those things that we all should know that we shouldn't have held on to them for as long as we did. Um, so I'm redoing my basement right now. So this is just kind of a view um, over here. This is a pilot brewing system uh, that will go to a brewery eventually. Um, but it's just here for right now. But that's actually going to move this weekend. So um, this will change a little bit. But regardless um i felt i just wanted to do this so if you guys like it let me know and i'm gonna keep doing them um because i need to start drinking these beers so it's gonna be i'm gonna try to do like two or three each time um that are similar beers um i don't know what that's gonna look like yet but that's kind of my thought process behind it so um tonight we're gonna start with the oldest beer i actually found while i was doing this and this actually came courtesy of my man joe uh first time we ever did a beer trade um when i first met this man uh, he was looking for zombie dust on Twitter, and I followed him because of his arcade stuff. I was like, I've got zombie dust. So let's do a trade. So I traded a bunch of beer to him. He traded a bunch of beer back. And this was, at the time, I was really excited about. Stone Russian Imperial Russian Stout. Um, key on this one, limited spring 2009 release. So this bad boy is 11 years old. No idea if this is going to have any carb. No idea if it's going to taste like ass. And still a little, little hiss, a little tiny hiss. Does not smell good. Doesn't smell good at all. <laughs> so we're gonna pour it out and we're just gonna do this and see what happens. Um, pour it out nice. Good carbonation still. Um, I mean, looks like a Russian Imperial stout in the glass. Carbonation dissipated pretty quickly, but I didn't get like the sudsy um, like Coca Cola bubbles that I get typically when stouts are infected or something like that. But this baby rocks in at. I mean, this is stone. Back in the day, this was the hotness. 10.5%. Uh, God, I can smell this from here. It is aromatic for sure. Um, we were randomly on one. We did like a live YouTube live thing a long time ago. I'm sure it's somewhere. Um, where I opened like a, like an old Ruination or something. It was like a barley one. It was like seven years old or something like that. Um, it's bad. But let's dive in and see what it smells like. Actually, it doesn't smell too bad. Boozy. Nice roasted malts. Huge dark fruits. Huge, like, almost like a caramel note, which is typically not good. But, like, caramel coated, like, I don't know, like raisins and figs and cherries. Actually, it smells barrel aged. Like, this has, like, a really nice botanic barrel note to it. Um, and they don't barrel age these, right? They do barrel aged versions of them, but these aren't barrel aged. What does this say about this beer? I love that it, back in the day, this was so thick. Stone Russian Imperial Stout is so thick, rich, and well sinful. You might feel certain that you are about to be doomed be doomed to the fiery pits just for thinking about taking a sip. That's about right. Um, English Stouts. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, nothing too much. So, oh, here, hold on. This stout sellers exceptionally well. We recommend getting a nice case and opening a bottle every three to six months. So they're saying like case three to six months, like six years tops. I don't know. Let's dive in. See what she tastes like. Joe, thanks, man. Appreciate it. I barely took any. I have a feeling this is going to be like the worst beer shits I've ever had by doing this. You know, this is not, I mean... By today's standards, this is nothing um, amazing or anything. This actually tastes pretty good, though. 
it's roasty, um, very stouty. The booze is definitely there. Um, I mean, this isn't something I would sit and drink. This reminds me of um, a little bit of Bell's Expedition Stout. That's actually what this reminds me of. It's very chocolatey, very malty, um, big roast, big coffee note, but it's it has a sweet boozy note. It's almost like somebody took um, the Stone Russian Imperial Stout and like mixed it with their barley wine. I forget what that's called, but almost just like it has like a barley wine note to it, like an alcoholic sweetness, like an Eng or like an American star style of like hoppy. This is like it's hoppy too. It has a, it, this is bitter as fuck. But it's not bad. I mean, I expected this to be disgusting. It's really not. I mean, there's there's some oxidation in there to be expected. But as far as, like, is this a bad beer? Like, is this undrinkable? No, I'll be honest. I've had some stouts that are fresh that this isn't better than. I've had some local, like, stouts that aren't this good. I've had some stuff people have sent me for free to have me review that's not this good. And this is 11 years old. I'm not mad at it. I'm really not. Well done, Stone. 2009, still kicking. Still waited another 11 years. Um, so as G Jay Z says, on to the next one. So I told you I'm gonna try and keep these babies themed, and I thought maybe that's undrinkable. Maybe I need to see what a little bit fresher tastes like. So I happen to have this, and I'm assuming I got this from Joe as well. The 2014 Stone Imperial Russian Stout. Man, that's boozy. It's staying. Uh, this is 11 percent. Um, same stuff on the back, same word, everything. They stuck to their guns on this one, Stone did. Not surprising. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't really, I haven't drank a Stone beer. This is probably the first Stone beer I've had in years. I used to, well, I used to drink, uh, I used to get the Enjoy By beers. This pours a little darker. A little more carbonation. A little tiny bit higher in ABV. Looks the same in the glass. So actually, it looks a little pitch more pitch black. I don't smell this like I did the other one. Like when I opened the other one, I thought it was gonna smell like and taste like ass. Um, it was almost sulfur sulfuric. Um, had that note to it, but I don't get that with this at all. Just dive in and see what she smells like. This is richer. This is a fuller nose. Um, this smells thicker, if that makes sense. It's um, big coffee, like cold brew coffee note. It doesn't smell boozy like the last one did. <sighs> Big chocolate notes. Nice roastiness. A little bit more balanced. Actually, it kind of reminds me. It, was, it got a nice chocolate note. A little reminiscent of uh, Bourbon County. But I don't get... On the other one, I got like barrel notes. Where I don't get that from this. This is more pure Russian Imperial style. 11% um, Joe. Thanks again, man. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, this one's better. It doesn't have as much oxidation, that caramel note. Um, it's boozy though, God, it burns too. Just a smidge, not as bad. Um, but the dark fruits are there a little less, but it's there. Roasty, chocolate coffee, um, like fresh like fresh ground coffee, like if you have a coffee grinder, like that kind of an aroma that you get when you're grinding coffee, kind of has that taste. A little bit better body. Um, I think that it's because there's more carbonation infused in the beer, so I think it just has more of a natural carbon um, mouthfeel. Um, it's actually really good. I, this is, I mean, the 2009 I wasn't mad at. This is actually tasty. I might have to go buy a fresh one of these. This is not as bitter either. This isn't as hoppy as the last one was, um, which is more of your Russian style. Uh, but this is good. I'm, you know, I'm not mad that I, you figure this one's six years old. That's not bad, guys. Am I mad I sat on this beer? No. Could be way worse. I've had way worse beers that I've sat on. And trust me, maybe I'll take a screenshot of this and like overlay it over the video or something. Maybe it's terrible. I don't know. But um, this one's not. So, uh, are you see? It's terrible. You could see what we're dealing with here. Um, and you could get a feel. I threw a bunch in the fridge already. Um, I have a bunch of stone ones because Joe used to send me stone, stone stuff. But I have like old brewery, old, like a really old second shift stuff, old, um, really old Bourbon County, um, Santa Fe Brewing Company. I'm just looking over here. Steel Toe. Um, I have some really like early, early Hill Farmstead stuff. Really old founders. 
Um, really, actually, like the very first PM Dawn batch that Trillium ever released uh, with coffee, I still have a bottle of that. Um, Paradox beers, Crooked Stave, I mean, a lot of shit over here. <laughs> and then I have a shelf of just random crap. Uh, so we'll see, guys. We're, I'm going to keep doing this. I've got like old Lafalese and I don't know. It's just I got this stuff to drink. I don't I'm not buying much beer outside of my memberships that I'm in, which if you can look behind me. You can probably figure out what I'm a member of. Um, but that's yeah, that's it, guys. So we're going to leave it there. Thanks for coming behind the bar. Thank you for the likes, subscribes and comments. Do let me know in the comments below if you like this at all. Because if nobody's going to watch them, I'm not going to do them. Um, I'll just do this on my own and it won't be near as much fun. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, cheers, everybody. That's a 0. 0.0. That is a 100 out of 100 every time. The greatest shot that's ever lived. Thank you. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit.